What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and to your daily Ethereum update. Hope you're all doing great, hope you're all having a great weekend and holiday. Uh, if you have a holiday, for me it doesn't really feel like it uh, since I have been moving and, and working still. It uh, doesn't matter, it's, uh, it's about doing what you love, right? It's, um, holiday is definitely a good way to kind of take a step back, but if you enjoy your work, there's, there's nothing wrong with working in a holiday. All right, so, but in this video, we're taking a look at Ethereum. Um, my analysis from yesterday, because yesterday, obviously, we did the daily update too, um, has changed a little bit, because yesterday, I kind of struggled with the analysis. I wasn't really sure about Ethereum. I still am not 100% sure. I think Ethereum right now, right now is um, pretty hard to analyze. I've had some troubles with it. Um, so maybe I should make a new analysis, but for now, it's okay. So it has kind of changed, but apart from that, I also have some other insights I, I wanted to share. First of all, what I also said in the Bitcoin update before this is that volume is dropping down quite significantly for, for all cryptos here. Bitcoin was down 40%, Ethereum is down 40%. I'm sure if we take a look at Cardano, it's between 2 and 3% of the market cap. Yeah, 2% of the market cap, that's extremely low. And Solana is probably a little higher, uh, but also a, a major drop. So there's something going on with the volume. I'm not sure if we can if we can see it like this last seven days um hmm, over the last yeah see over the last seven days last day has actually dropped down quite significantly too uh, so something is going on less volume isn't necessarily bad in the end it's a holiday so not a lot of people are trading and then the big money traders are obviously not trading um, but less volume could cause more volatility. So um, uh, that's a problem. Less volume also means that certain indicators work less well. For example, trend lines, Fibonacci's, um, like this one, this trend line, not Fibonacci. Uh, so we kind of have, a, have to adjust our analysis to that. And that's what I wanted to do because yesterday in the analysis, I said that I thought we would stay above the 1670 level on top of this and that we would reach a little bit higher between 1800 and 1830. I still I still think we'll reach that level between 1800 and 1830. And then from there, I'll do an update on that because there's a chance of breaking it, but I don't consider that chance that high at this point of time. Um, but the major cha change is that I, I think we should allow for a little bit more room. All right, so, so I think Ethereum is actually definitely going to drop down to 1600 and kind of consolidate between 1600 and 1750. Um, if 1600 breaks, there's not that big of a, of a problem. See, that's the difficult part because we should actually uh, drag this key level all the way down like this. Or we should split it up, but let's drag it down. Um, I think we're going to drop down to 1,552. As long as we're above 1,550, we're fine. And I still think we're going to reach a level between 1,800 and 1,830. Um, so I, I, for now, I expect us to consolidate a little bit between probably 1,700 and 1,550. And then somewhere at the end of, of, of this week or next week, um, I expect this move. All right, at, at the latest, but it's, 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 it's going to come. I still think at this point of time, at least. Obviously, I can be wrong, but that's, that's my bias and my analysis for now. Um, uh, so, so yeah, if, if we break down below 1,550, we're probably going to drop down all the way to um, <clears throat> 1,500 and to, 15, and to 1,450. Um, but if that ha just so you know, so, so that's the last support, 1550. If that breaks, I don't think we're going to touch this anymore. Uh, so also if that breaks, I was wrong because I don't think it's going to break. All right. So that's basically my analysis for now. If you do have any questions about it, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, I want to wish you a great weekend and take care guys. And I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.